Hey, it's Brian Grams here at the Volo Auto Museum, and I'm standing by our newest exhibit, the history of the pedal car. These are not reproductions. These are all original restored pedal cars from the 1920s through the 1950s. And they are absolute incredible works of art. Um, these pedal cars were for the wealthy back in the day uh, because they are very expensive. They are not you know, like today's pedal cars and that that are just a you know, piece of molded plastic. These were detailed as an original car, but they had pedals instead of an engine. Some of them, like this one, even has working suspension on them. They have trunks, fenders, lights, license plates, real rubber tires. Um, some of them, the lights actually do function. Um, they're incredible. They're, they're like miniature cars. They actually called them juvenile cars. Um, it, everything was an option on these. You know, your base car that you would purchase would be just a body with the tires and wheels. If you wanted fenders, if you wanted lights, uh, all that stuff was optional and cost a lot of money. And to restore one, to find all these parts, um, the restoration is almost the same as a car. You have chrome plating, you have paint jobs, you have tires, you have upholstery, you have wiring. Uh, very expensive to restore, uh, which makes these very valuable. Uh, we're talking tens of thousands of dollars uh, per vehicle. You know, they, they end, range anywhere from 10000 on up to $35,000 for some of these pedal cars. Um, they're all unique. Uh, we've got, you know, from a fire truck to airplanes. Uh, when you ride the airplanes, the propeller uh, spins as well. Um, but you can just look at them and they're cool. I mean, they're colorful and just detailed works of art. You can see these pedal cars here at the Volo Auto Museum, where we've got lots to offer. 33 exhibits in total, and you can find them all on volocars.com. Be sure to find us on social media as well.